Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So I popped some uh, soul items. Got enough to put one more point into vitality. So now I'm wearing this Fallen Knight set, which looks kind of cool. Now you are back from your pillaging, I assume. Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. So you don't give me anything, you just have more stuff to sell, do you? I'm not sure what of this is new. That's probably new. Okay, you've got quite a bit of stuff actually. Let's uh, see, embers, repair powder. What's new here? You sell as Vihander now. Ultra great sword with a large long blade, with two hands, it's still requiring great strength through its weight, execute powerful attacks, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. I don't know what Pontiff's Knights are. They're a new curved sword wielded by the Pontiff's Knights, frigid spirits that linger in Erethil. The large blade appears to be eaten away by insects, making it lightweight but also brittle. Frost Blade. Execute large spinning motion to imbue blade with frost, and follow through with a strong attack that slashes with a giant blade made of frost. That sounds... odd. <laughs> It does require 10 intelligence, but doesn't have any intelligence scaling or magic damage. Okay, s -talk. Mace, that's just normal shit. War pick. Spear. Glaive. Short bow, light crossbow. Priest's chime. Chime? A, a chime's different from talisman's. Use faith, sacred chime for casting miracles of the gods of the type given to the last week priests. To cast a miracle, the caster learns a tale of the gods. Yeah, well, that's normal. Gentle prayer recovers HP for a, f for a period of time, extremely slowly. Okay. Buckler, target shield. I'm not sure the difference between a chime and a talisman. There were talismans in Dark Souls 1 and chimes in Dark Souls 2. But they were, there were hexes as well in Dark Souls 2, and I haven't found any in. Dark Souls 3. Elk Horn Round Shield. The blue antlers are reminiscent of designs found in Mirror. Okay. Normal Round Shield. Kite Shield. I think I got one of those. Night Shield. So it's, it does do a 100% physical block. Uh, I don't think I can compare to what I'm currently using. Pontiff Night Shield. Shield of the Pontiff Knights, Frigid Spirit, the blue grey shield shrouded in a thinly cold air is light and brittle. Doesn't have 100% physical block, but it's got pretty high everything else blocks. Normal leather armour. Knight armour. Assassin armour. Thief mask. Okay, and arrows and bolts. All right, fair enough. You can keep the ring. As <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Goodbye. Oh, this. Okay, what else? Before I get going. Since I got invaded. Um. Maybe that tree has is going to drop a seed for me. Nope. All right. Well then, I don't know what the trigger is. Well, not just that I got invaded. I actually won one of the invasions. Okay. Now, I cheated a little bit and looked up. Um. where the pyromancy trainer is. Turns out I had, in fact, missed him. The, uh... That building with those three guys up on the roof throwing firebombs at me, that I kept wondering if there was a way to get up the top. Yeah, turns out there is. 
So, um... Whoops. Die already, Jesus. I think this is the quickest way to get there. Quick, of course. You could drop some Titanite for me while I'm doing this. Right, is that one up above? Probably. Um, I do vaguely recall staring at that door right there for a second or two. And then thinking to myself, nah, I've already been in there. <laughs> because apparently I am the dummy dumb. We want to go down here. Oh, there's something here too. Well, there's a tight night shard. There's a bonfire. Checking for more items. Here we go. Aha! Unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Yes, I would. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> and I'm gonna guess he's gonna go back to Firelink now. some way. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> I've got a tower key. I think I got one of those too. Okay! I 
protect him. Enemies. Slugs or something. Extinguish three flames and open the door to wolf's blood. I think that's a dev message. <laughs> Okay, we've got a poisonous swamp. What a shock. I suppose I could farm Titanite Shards off you guys, can I? Like you can off the ones in Blight Town. Mask. Hand axe probably doesn't have any useful lore. Um, favored by Pyromancer of the Great Swamp. Anyone would know that if they've played the first game. Uh, ragged mask. Ragged that covers the wearer's mouth. Uh, of course. Uh, it does have high poison resistance. And that is from the same set as that. From the earlier game. Well, <laughs> as in Dark Souls 2. So, what are these things? Hmm, probably nothing. But we might find out. <laughs> otherwise at some point. Well, at least that doesn't slow you down. I don't have any anti-poison stuff either. Hmm. <laughs> that may be unfortunate. I want to get that item. We're going to get poisoned in the process. Come over here, you cheeky sods. I'm going to have to find some high poison resist equipment. I have to buy some more arrows too. Alright then, what have I got that's good poison resist? 14, 17, 29. 31 uh, 59 64 <laughs> <laughs> Fashion souls. It's a tight night shard. And the poison meter goes up so much faster than it goes down. That's totally unfair. I'm not even sure how bad poison is in this game. it to say toxin in Dark Souls 1 
we don't want to roll into that fire though. Alright, so you guys do drop things. Heavy gem. That's probably the way out then. Titanite. There's probably some hiding up in the trees, waiting to jump on my head. Prism stone. Not very useful. Don't think I have ever used a prism stone in any Souls game. Um, I think I am going to get poisoned no matter what by running around through here. Well, I got plenty of Estus for the moment. Maybe I didn't see just how bad. Poison really is a stone palmer. It really appeared to be taking too much health off me. So I guess that's one thing. Poison gem. Well, large titanite would be better. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. It's a dark wraith. Dodge, you fuckstick! Jesus! Oh, fuck, I'm stuck on something. He does not want me to heal, either. Oh! Oh, they're actually a bit tougher than the the other Dark, dark Wraiths from Dark Souls 1. Oh shit. Oh, fucking hell. How the fuck does he keep hitting me constantly? Through my shield, apparently. That move sucks humanity out of you in Dark Souls 1. I don't know what it does. This. Hmm. Fuck off. Well, since poison doesn't really appear to be a huge deal, I might uh, put my other stuff back on. Where was it? get over there without getting poisoned too. Well maybe I can't. Got pine resin. Oh, how was that not a backstab, you cheating sod? 